This is pencil number 1,803. Someone just paid David Reese $35 to sharpen a pencil. First of all, I think people think, wow, I can't believe he actually did it. Like, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen when I sent this guy my money. Now, before you write him off as some con artist whittling away on prepackaged number twos from a farmhouse upstate. Internet commenters have definitely made, made this uh, argument before. You should know David's a sharp guy. Because now a pencil is a completely transparent communication tool. As for his pencils, he began sharpening those after leaving a job as a political cartoonist to work for the 2010 census, where he spent all day recording his findings with a number two pencil. And I thought, there's got to be a way to get paid to sharpen pencils for people. 1803. 1804. Make that 1804 flawlessly sharpen, mostly number two pencils later, David's penned a book on his art form, collected an arsenal of different sharpeners, and taught classes to students who sharpen better than he does. Simultaneously, I'm really happy for them, and I'm also like really intimidated, like, please don't go into business against me like you're gonna crush me. But after two years of collecting pencil shavings with tweezers for his customers, David's nearing his breaking point. So that cost me close to nothing. But when David started, he hoped every busted tip would lead the writer to pay for a sharpening. Instead, his customers display his pencil points as works of art. whole point of the business is to remind people to appreciate yellow number two pencils because they're really cool and interesting and to make a ton of money. But at this point, work feels like work. You do anything long enough for money, it just starts to become a job. So as he nears the nice round number of 2,000 sharpenings, David suggests that soon he'd like to clean out his sharpeners for good, leaving the world a much duller place. In Beacon, New York, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.